How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Very good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Busy day. Very busy. <laughs> well, what I wanted to ask you is, we were in here earlier doing the flash round. Oh, no. Good. And the producers were talking about how the Flashpoint storyline is going to affect all of the Arrowverse shows. Can you talk about how that's going to affect yeah. Arrow? Yeah, I can tell you that it's it's going to have. We are going to, you know, we're going to honor it and see what kind of how it affects our characters. It's going to be both. I think it's hard. To, it's hard to say. I mean, it will definitely have an impact on the show, but it may, I think it may or may not be what the fans will. I will love all of this way. The knock on on Flash will probably be a lot bigger, but we're definitely going to explore it. It opens up a lot of storytelling possibilities for us, and I think we're only sort of beginning to scratch the surface on what it will be. How early in in this new season will we sort of feel the effects of that? Or is it something long term? What's cool is I think you'll, it'll be it'll be subtle, but you'll feel it immediately. Um, but then I think in terms of how big or how small we, we how big we take it, I think that will be something you'll feel. Now, John Barrowman's signed up as a regular across the Arrowverse. Now, how is that going to work? Is he going to pop up? Is he going to be mostly on Arrow? Or is he going to pop up all over the place just when you want him? You know, I think it will be similar to the, you know, there have been deals we've cut. I think they've cut with one with Miller and also with Katie Cassidy to be across all shows. And I think that it gives us a, look, these are characters that fans love, that we love to fight for. And I think it, it becomes a question of what is the best story to tell for them and, and where are they best placed? And, you know, John is such an amazing actor, and it's, it becomes a question of is he available and is it right for this story? So I know that he'll be appearing in the the end of our season, and that's more because of availability than anything else. Um, but I think, in terms of how he plays in the other shows, it's always a dialogue. We always have to kind of, we're all in the same building, we run down the hallway, and we're like, we're thinking of doing this with Malcolm. What are you guys doing with Malcolm right now? And it's just all, it's, it's sort of, it just evolves. And uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be influenced. I mean, do you have a massive sort of plan, you know, big timeline that you're all sort of, all, all three shows are sort of checking in on? We do. We have people that actually kind of monitor that for us. We have some support staff as well. Um, and then we have a big, you know, we have an R room, we have a giant board for like where the Arrow stories are going to go in. If you're in the process of checking in to make sure, for instance, you know, when Felicity goes over the Flash, we kind of have to know what she's going to do with Flash. Because it has a direct impact on her, not just her availability, but what is she wishing on the game that she's going to be carrying with her into our stories. Black Canary is such a pivotal character in the Arrow universe. Can you talk about the difficult decision to put her in the race? It was, it was a very difficult yes. decision. I mean, we never take those deaths lightly. I don't think we, we, when Tommy was killed off and when Moira met her demise in season two, those are never easy decisions. I think it always comes from a place of, well, how, you know, is it, is the show where people die? How do we honor that? And also, what person is going to sort of have the most impact on the, the cast and the characters that we have? And, and it was a, it was really it was a very hard decision, and yet we will feel that and we're going to honor it. And a lot of the stories that we're telling in on Legends and Era we couldn't have told if we hadn't made that decision. So we'll be the characters that we'll be living with it, we will be living with it as writers, and it will, but it will very much inform I think both season two of Legends and definitely season five. Season 5 is going to be a, a bit more grounded than Season 4 was in turn, but is the magic gone completely or is it, is it still? No, once it's there, it's definitely part of our universe, but I don't think we'll be leaning into it the same way. I'm sure we Yeah. The, the goal this year is to go back to the least and make a piece of the animation show, and that's where we started. Yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Is there going to be a timeline jump because of Vixen being actually on Arrow? Is that true, like bringing another version of Vixen on Arrow? We are not bringing another version of Vixen on Arrow. So Meg Lynn is available to still play the role. Yes, yeah, so in terms of you talking about the legend, it's right, different yeah. legends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. If we could get Meg with the flashbacks when they were initially done in the, in the pilot, sort of the five-year plan, right? In theory, does that mean at the end of this upcoming season, the flashbacks will be off the island, and will you continue to have flashbacks, or will the flashbacks end? The flashbacks will be done at the end of the season. Yeah. I mean, we'll always, I think, have it as a potential device. We've established the sort of, you know, visual language of the show. We could always use them from a different character's point of view, but all of this flashbacks in terms of telling that particular story. Like the 
Absolutely, yes. And does that open up something creatively for you guys? Like a different structure for season six? Huge. I mean, season six is going to be, I love it. It's going to be such a big rethink of the show. It's, um, it's exciting on one level, but yeah, it will be a big challenge, I think, because this has been, I mean, this show has always conceived of a whole series. There was always this idea that once they had enough, you know, enough stories, so now that was going over, and see so maybe we get a season six. <laughs> That's uh, we'll be faced with that challenge right now. <laughs> we can talk about it next time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.